episode of Town Ballweed Ranch, I have a very special Jeep that's gonna take on our Onyx rated Town Ballweed off-road course. And I think this is the Blue Sonic, but I need Brian here to tell me more about this because this is a very special V8 powered Wrangler. Mm -hmm. yep. So when did you get this puppy? Uh, March, we ordered it in February and it only took a month. Oh, you for just, us to get it. Bam. Yeah. We ordered it February 21st. It arrived on March 25th. Sweet. So this is a heavy powered 6.4 liter. Why did you choose this? Why did, why did you buy this? Heavy powered 6.4 liter. Oh, is that why? <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. So was this an extreme recon package? No, okay. no, this is not an extreme recon package. I added the extreme recon fender flares. Okay. Um, after I bought the wheels, they were sticking out due to the back spacing a little bit more. Yeah. Then, uh, we liked it, so uh, rather than add any new fenders or anything, we just, I was able to get these ordered and put them on myself. And you didn't change the suspension at all, right? No just, changes other than okay. the wheels and the tires. And we, you know, we had put a little few stickers on it here and there, so. Yeah, there's a little bit of a Sonic theme going on. Yeah, we call it Sonic. Okay. Because it's blue and fast. <laughs> <laughs> but it also is very off-road capable. So right. far, yeah. So, so have you, where have you been already? Uh, well, uh, we've taken it to the, um, Bantam Jeep Festival, which is held every year um, in Butler, PA. Okay. Uh, we took it there. They have on-site playgrounds and trails, and then they have some off-site trails that you can go to as well. So we did that, didn't have any trouble. Uh, just yesterday, uh, we were on Webster Pass. Okay. Uh, we went up Webster Pass. Sweet. Didn't have any trouble at all. Yeah, it's so. more scenic, right? Yeah. It's really, yeah. really nice. So you got the horsepower, you got the lockers. I, are you nervous about this trail or? Are you, eh, okay. Not so nervous. Uh, the, the Jeep's got more experience than I do. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's run it and let's see what happens. Sure. Isn't that really special? You know, a good old Wrangler with a V8 engine. Well, you just got to uh, love the sun. You know, and with all the mountains and the hills and stuff like that. It's just nice to be able to step into something Yeah. and it responds. So you air down. Yeah. You were prepared. So about what, about 22 PSI, right? Mm -hmm. So the first obstacle is dirty deed. Um, it's a little stinky, <laughs> uh, but it's not super difficult. So we're going to start easier and then progressively it'll get a, a bit harder and harder and harder. So way about disconnect. We may not need lockers yet. So have you, have you had other Jeeps before? Yes, uh, we had a 2015 Sport okay. uh, that we had for several years. It was a very basic model, uh, roll-up windows, manual locks, manual transmission, which we miss. We really do wish that this had a manual in it. Uh -huh. um, and then I do also have a 2021 Gladiator Sport okay. at home that I have the uh, that I actually bought because I love the videos that you guys did with Tommy's. Oh, really? Gladiator. Yeah, that uh, Mojave Sand one was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Mine is the granite crystal. Okay. Well, well let's let's tackle this first one. This is okay. a creek crossing. So you you're from Pennsylvania. Yeah, we're from uh, just outside of Pittsburgh, right okay. by the airport. Okay. And you were on kind of a, this cross country journey. Yep. You can go a little bit slower. Not not too much problem here. See? Oh, nice and easy. So nice and easy, the second obstacle is this climb. Yeah! Awesome exhaust note. Oh, I can see uh, Brian already dinged his uh, little exhaust pipe on something. Nice. I don't think that was today. So really David's folly, this tight hairpin turn is kind of a test of maneuverability, right? Mm -hmm. So far you have no issues with clearance. Um, but maneuverability, of course, for many vehicles is a challenge. So I'll kind of walk you through. You want to line up almost. You see, sometimes people run over part of this bush. Okay. Because you want to get like as as wide of a turn as as possible. All right. So. So which you don't have lockers on yet, right? No. Yeah, because that's probably will prevent you from turning. 
the tightest. Yeah. So that's good. Okay. Okay, try again. Slowly. Easy peasy, just a three point turn, nice. Okay. All these guys keep coming over here and embarrassing us. What is this, uh, afternoon Rodeo Drive? If anybody is watching this, it is a lot steeper in person. Nice. And we're going again here. You haven't touched anything yet. So far, so good. All right, so now it should get tougher because Nathan's Crack is coming up and then Cottonwood Creek and then Tommy's Demise. Oh yeah. Why can't every Jeep have a V8? <laughs> I, I was actually surprised when they did come out with it that I, I figured if anything, they may maybe go to the 5.7 yeah. Hemi, you know? And they went and kind went, of all the way, went, almost. They it's like, fine, you want one? They gave us the big boy, yeah. but. I mean, and it's not, not supercharged, and not and not only just the six four out of the power wagon or something like that, but you know the, but the, the SRT car one, one you the, know? yeah, yeah. four hundred seventy horses. Mm -hmm. But it also has a low end torque, which is what you oh, want yeah. right it now. Climbs a lot of these hills, yeah. even with the thirty fives. I'm still climbing a lot of hills in eighth gear. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Brian, unfortunately, this obstacle is called Nathan's Crack. <laughs> it's really testing the approach and departure angles, and and you might be dragging your hitch on this one. We'll see. So you just kind of want to be in the between the trees, nice and easy, slower, maybe a little touch slower. I think your approach is going to be fine. It's your deep part. Well, I don't know if we touched. I don't think we did. Well, that's nice. Towards the right. Hey, okay. Yeah, that so, better than I thought. So, uh, clearances are great, 35s are working. Um, you have monstrous approach angle. Um, and then departure angle, I think you touched some mud once in the first obstacle, but that's mm -hmm. about it. So now comes the big obstacle, cottonwood. Yep. Okay, let's do that. All right. Here's your front camera. There's also the rear. Mm -hmm. That's pretty useful. And then you're 22 psi or so all the way around which is okay you don't want to go too much lower no no we just wanted something to just give it a little bit extra bite so what's been happening on this course is the more it's run right <laughs> some of the ruts are getting deeper and deeper and deeper so almost every time it's getting a little bit more challenging yeah when you know we first you know knew we were coming out we weren't sure if we were getting into dry conditions or really soupy conditions or... uh it's a little bit on the soupier side that's <laughs> that's fine by me i don't yes. mind mud Okay, start, start turning. Nice. Okay, Brian, so on this, I mean, it's really up to the machine, but you should use both lockers. Yeah, they're all on. Um, and <clears throat> once again, so you need to climb, well, obviously to the right of Alex and towards, you know, towards the uphill. 
but start slowly and see how it goes. A little bit of driver side. Embarrassing us. That was really impressive. I have not seen many things go through here that easily. Things get bugged down here. Those yeah. Jeeps, the other Jeep got bugged down there. Roman almost rolled the side by side here yesterday. He got real tippy in it. Brian is a pro. You're making it look too easy. What what, what are you what are you what are you doing? You got anything harder? Tommy's demise! Eh. Are you ready for that? We'll give it a shot. <laughs> This is Tommy's demise. The reason why you saw that, right? Where his red Jeep got yeah. bottomed out. Yeah. The trick here is you want to approach it slowly as always, but as soon as your front tire hits the bottom of it, it's going to start to sink because it's mushy. Okay. So you need to give it a little bit of throttle to kind of get back out. That's just my take on it because the bottom of it is soft. So you don't want to spend too much time on the bottom of it. Okay. And then just climb out. Well, give it a shot. Go back more. Okay, go forward. No, no, don't go back. Do not go back. Stop, stop. <laughs> uh, close your windows. Do not turn the engine off. We need a mule. I think I'll probably pull on uh, on the hook. I'm gonna hit, hook a rope up to you. Okay, so we're using our kinetic rope, basically a very, very giant bungee to get a little bit of, you know, so it's not a sudden pull, but still offers good amount of pulling power because Brian needs a little bit because his rear axle is sunk over there and then mud and he needs more he needs some more to pull him out. This is not very secure, is it? No, it's the best we got. All right, we'll try this. Oh, you saw that? I can see that on the camera, yeah. I actually made a comment in there. I was like, yeah. It looks like I got a bunch of the ranch on the right side there. Uh, you got a little bit of the ranch inside on the passenger side. Yeah, yeah. Not enough wheelbase and bad line or something? No, no, no. Your, your line was great. It's just the, ob the nature mm -hmm. of the obstacle yeah. is such that... I was really that hoping that the tires were aggressive enough and it would just claw its way out. Yeah, but I think, I think this is where your tire was. Not quite enough you know, to get you to get you to jump. And the reason why I had you keep your engine rolling is because your tailpipes were in the water. <laughs> I didn't want water to start coming in. So 
you needed the exhaust to kind of blow through it. That's yeah, deep. It is deep. Well, thank you, Tommy's demise. You did it again. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy wins every time. Almost. Uh, almost every time. Got me. So, Brian, this is home free, but not quiet. Because <laughs> you got to cross this. So, actually, this looks worse than what it actually is. Mm -hmm. um, you really don't have to go very fast through it. Where you need momentum is climbing back out of it because it's slick. And the tires are gonna get caked in mud, so you don't have a lot of knobbies. So slow, slow, slow. Once again, and, and we're going to the left. Up up towards those rocks. So what do you think? Oh, I, just like everybody <laughs> says on the videos I've seen before, it's a lot worse in person. You know, I think that was soupier than when that gladiator went Oh, through. much soupier, so. yes. All right, so nice and easy. No need to uh, hurry through here until we have to climb to the left. Okay. We're approaching. It's only about 24 degrees. Oh, let me let me close the windows. So now start giving it the beans and go left. You see the trail? Yep. Go now. Yes, yes, go, go, go. Nice. See, if you hesitated there, it, it would swallow you up again. Oh, yeah. So towards the right, a little bit more towards those rocks. Yes, victorious. Victorious. A little bit more. A little bit more towards the right. Yep, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. And stop. Woohoo! Yeah! Hey. The Sonic takes it. Yep. Sonic did it. All the way. I got a passing grade, right? Yes. <laughs> you got a sticker now. Sticker. Wow, Brian, this was a muddy, soupy mess, but the big V8 came through. For the most part, yeah. I, I think. Tommy's demise got us, but. Uh, you know, I think it was a lot soupier than when that gladiator went through because I really thought I'd had a shot at it. And I think Case dug it out in his Yeah, off thanks, shit. Case. <laughs> but I want to present you with this Onyx Off Road Rated Tumbleweed Ranch Certified. Right there. All right. Thank you very much. Now your Jeep is Tumbleweed Rated. And as always, guys, go back to OTFL.com for everything automotive, one stop shop, and a lot of cool stuff like this, too. The personal power service. Right?